The size of that candle? 60 quid. I found something that's bigger than my head, look. I know, yeah. Anybody else feel, feel the same with this habit chicken? It all smells of like poo. It's like, oh, it's like poo. Like, oh. It literally, oh. I've realised that they were like actually following me and when you're driving on your own in the dark and you're a girl especially. That's my friend Jillian Carlisle. City Centre. Uh, I've got all them knives, it's quite scary. Oh. <laughs> Make my wish come true. everybody welcome to another weekly vlog so today it is a tuesday i did not vlog yesterday because i was i literally was so busy i did not have time to vlog so i'm starting it on a tuesday you know it is fine it's still the start of the week pretty much but i've done my makeup i actually had to shower and i jumped straight into my pjs again because oh my god in the winter times i literally live in my pjs i literally hate it getting dressed into normal clothes so i've just decided i'm just gonna be comfortable while doing my makeup and just kind of chill and stuff um so i've gone for like another kind of bronzy makeup look again i've actually got a new bronzer brush and it makes a big a difference to how i apply my makeup it's like a real technique one. it's actually unreal and it's like an angled brush so it's really nice so yeah I've done my makeup, I feel alive. I also have a lot of spots on my chin. Um, you could wear a mask and stuff. So I just wanted to kind of cover them up today and I feel a lot more confident wearing makeup. Like who else agrees when you put makeup on, it literally changes the way you look and makes you feel so confident. By the way guys, in the store Scott did at the place on Sunday, my mum actually came along and actually bought a few bits. Obviously a lot of it is Oh my god, why is it not opening? Okay, here we go. As you can tell, a lot of it has been eaten up. Yeah, there was a lot more stuff in here. Yeah, but last night, I had a bit of this Maltese cookie pie. And oh my god, it's absolutely insane. So it's like a chocolate orange cookie pie. This is the Maltese one. This is a carrot cake. And this is a cranberry and orange flapjack. It also was like a bit of brownie in here. And mint error of Rocky Road which it can't kind of just say was absolutely unbelievable but yeah oh my god insane so it's cakes you crave on instagram if you want to follow him i was being supportive girlfriend right here so go on and follow him yes the oven is now on for my pizza i will be having a chicken pizza as i probably said oh my god the boxes are the worst to close <laughs> but yeah and there's our little christmas tree oh yeah and it's like a random a massive roll of a bubble wrap because if you don't know my dad basically sells like the records on eBay, um, they're like vinyls and stuff. So there's always a lot of the bubble wrap just dotted around the house and stuff and packaging. So this is like our life. We have to it, we live among a big rolls of the bubble wrap. But yeah, how cute is the tree? The lights obviously aren't on at the moment, but the big one in the living room is nicer in my opinion. It really is, so I'm going to take you along. I know I always say this right, but I really need a vlogging camera. I probably say this in almost every vlog, but it has gone to the stage where my phone storage is just filling up. And that means I don't have any space on my phone to basically film and stuff. Because these you know, weekly vlogs, when I actually transfer them onto my laptop, they literally like an hour long so oh my god i'm really out of breath by the way guys let's just run up the stairs i'm so unfit Whew. but yeah basically i never have a phone storage anymore it mainly because i still take like a lot of photos i probably do have a lot of apps on my phone that i don't even use and it's basically gotten to the stage where i literally don't have any storage and then i've had to actually buy more icloud storage to actually transfer all the like all of my photos onto icloud to basically save them because I did have like a phone disaster like a little while ago where it, my phone completely crashed and it literally lost most of my photos and videos. But anyway, so yeah, I'm actually thinking Boxing Day sales, January, January sales, I might get 
either a Canon Q7X, either Mark 1 or Mark 2, or maybe with the Sony ZV-1, because a lot of people have said how that camera is a lot better. But the technology and stuff is always expensive. Um, we have to wait and see because iPhone storage is not cutting it anymore or iPhone quality. This is about two scrunches on my wrist. I actually found this on the edge of the radiator, so someone must have found it and put it on the radiator. So, yeah, I've got two scrunches on. I literally love scrunches at the moment. I prefer them over using like hair bubbles because hair bubbles kind of make your hair kind of pull out a bit. Oh my god, I really need to blend that. Why is that like that? I did kind of do a makeup in the dark, so please excuse that. But that is kind of disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> I can't always have a makeup artist and I can't really do the makeup of myself. Oh my god, that is really bad. Yeah, okay. We'll just hide that moment. That's it, that's all. It's fine. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going about now. But yes, I think it's time to invest. If I was going to invest in yourself and your hobbies and your job and stuff, that is what I'm going to do. Right, so I've got Peter out. I just opened this a chicken anybody else feel the same if this have a chicken it all smells of like poo it's like oh oh it literally oh but it then actually tastes it's so good like i really don't like understand that but i was just opened the packet and it was honking it was actually disgusting and i was thinking is it in date it is still in date, but that was kind of disgusting. Time for the sweet corn. It's going to be a bit awkward now because I literally can't, you know. Just a bit of frozen sweet corn all over the pizza. I usually put a load of chicken on, but I'm not really feeling a lot of chicken today, so I'm just kind of, you know. Yeah, when I put it on this pizza, it almost it looks as if like it's raw. Like... It, it looks really pink, so good job I'm not like eating it from scratch pretty much. But yes, I'm just gonna make sure I have a lot of vegetables on the pizza because you can never have too many. Right, so everybody, so it is Wednesday afternoon. As you can tell, I have my hair half rolled. I don't have enough rollers to put in my hair, and I did try to attempt to put the bendy rollers in and as well working. So these have been in for like around an hour now so i'm going to do a makeup scott he's actually here he's literally just arrived i've literally just finished cleaning my room so perfect timing be angry about certain things but a couple of parcels have arrived i was only expecting one more parcel to arrive but two have arrived so i'm going to open them quickly in this vlog excuse the state of me i did also put a bit of gradual moisturizer on my face as well Hence why I do look a bit brown and probably have more colour, but I mean, it's a good thing really, isn't it? It's a good thing. I just have my dressing gown on. I do have these on, but I don't have anything. I don't have anything on my top half at the moment. But anyway, here we are still. I feel as if like, I'm struggling to get the words out today. I don't know why. Right. Oh, Black Friday box. Oh my god, this is so cool. <gasps> this box is so nice. Oh my god, Scott. 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 Oh wow. The Black Friday. Oh my god, she. It does it with the packaging. But I'm not. You need to open it this way to be able to. Who's she? It's just called Paige Louise, but like a brand is P Louise, so it's basically. Guess who's thinking of selling bacon supplies? Who? Colourings and cake boards. Who? Like that. Guess. I don't know. Guess. You? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Right, anyway. I'm on a wholesale website. It's like to see what's in it. Oh, yes, have another one of these. Can I card. scratch it off this time? It'll be a coin in my money box for a drop one. I've got if plenty get, of coins. If we have the same. It's simple, so we can either win a grand £100 food shop or the win the Christmas collection. Whoa. And this is just like. Ooh! What's in here? Oh my god, all these bases. I'm so excited. No, so, didn't win. No, not won anything. No. Oh, what a shame. So, I firstly have Acid Rain Base in Raver. Another one 
in Ibiza. They're their nice colours. It's costing like a fortune to make these. I know. Then, I've also got... Bag of sweets. You know, it's like a, a crisp packet, like a design, and it, it's got a base and a brush in here, so I've got the green one. I've got... What have crisps one. got to do with it? A crisp finish. It's like... Oh god! You know what I mean? A peachy one and then like a dark one. Why is that one no? I don't know. But oh my god, the packaging! I don't want to open them. Can I? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no! But that's what I've got first. And then the parcel. I, I don't actually know what's in this one. Can I open that one? I love opening bags. It often sends like your free products and stuff. By the she way, so, if she does. What are you talking to? As if she's your friend? She's not sending it. She's not bothering. What she's. Your peaches and cream parcels arrived. Oh yeah, she sent you a peaches and cream oh, parcel. Oh no, no. It, it basically 10 pairs of eyelashes for 20 pounds. Why are you pulling the face? It's like it, really disgusting. They're the natural lashes for the salon. What's matter are they? Nothing. <laughs> I've just got a lot of lashes. Oh, oh they're my favourite. They're nice. Well, you have got eyes in the back of your head, so you can have two pairs on. I had a dream last night that she drove my car into the docks. Yeah, I did. Into the water. Oh, it was very violent. I had to smash through the window and drag you out to save your life. Yeah. It's a bit, um... I'm a hero. I'm a hero. Oh, God. Dun, so here dun, we dun, go. Dun, dun, dun. Ten eyelashes and six bases. Not too bad. And it also comes in a beautiful box. So, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm now going to do my makeup and then I'm going to take some Instagram photos. But actually, we're doing something more productive. What? That brick. Oh yeah, in the range now, getting some bits and bobs. But it just. You farted. Oh, you have. He keeps farting. It's so disgusting. I've got some Instagram photos, and so I'm going to be posting them probably tonight or tomorrow night. Oh. All the Christmas songs are on. He's basically you're going to be decorating his new unit, aren't you? Yeah, like you're getting. Oh, I smell them. No, oh, they smell weird. They look so soft. They're cute. Oh, my God. You need to add in times like this. We've just got in the house, honestly. This room is freezing because it one of the windows was open in my room. Alice. I caught that on, on, Alice just on the block. Oh, that stinks. It wasn't me. Oh, that, oh, that's disgusting. But yeah, I'm going to jump into my PJs. Me too. Oh, they're in the car. Oh, what a shame. Oh. It's a shame you're not staying tonight either, but yeah. Why is it? I'm going to jump into my PJs and keep it nice and warm and put the, the fairy lights on. We did not get anything in town. You just got some shredded paper, a paper but that was that really. Shredded, yeah. shredded wheat. A shredded wheat. But yeah, I'm going to put the fairy lights on, put the candle on. We did have a cheeky double and triple cheeseburger from McDonald's before we left, but shh, we'll keep that secret quiet. But yeah. So it was only small. It was only small, as you said. It got some Instagram photos, so I'm gonna have to put them up. I've got to upload the video onto YouTube, so it's YouTube. A, a YouTube site. It's a bit of a busy night tonight, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm excited to have my ginger candle because it, oh, it's like halfway. No. Oh no! But well, you've got that horrible smell on as well. Too that, much. That's not a horrible smell. It's not horrible, but it's, it's too cherry much. Cherry blossom. I'll turn it off. I've turned it off. Oh, have you now? Oh well, yeah, it's too strong. Mm. You listen to him right here complaining about my lovely smelling room. Please don't put the gingerbread one on. It smells really nice. I've got a headache already because of that this one. Please. You're just making excuses up. No, I get headaches of smells. I promise. Ask mum. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I guess I won't be putting any candles on then because somebody is too fussy. But yeah, yeah the rose... Scott got me, he's still going very strong. When did I get you that? A week ago? Not a week ago, you got me it on Saturday. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. It was when you came for pizza at my house. You didn't stay. Oh, it will be, it's a week then. Yeah, but this handbag has been excellent today. It, it, it's perfect size for putting your keys in and stuff. It's just like a nice little size. It's a highly recommend Ereptini on Instagram. She has all sorts of different brands of bags and stuff. I use my code Alice H to get 15% off. But yeah, 
I'm gonna write a post up, upload the video. You know what are you doing in the background? Put your thumbs up. You're such a child. Mm -hmm. That's cool though. Just then, I thought I put a fairy lights on. Oh, that's cute. Now that is cute. Oh, you get the fairy lights these. and with this candle you absolutely hate. Why is this wet? Because I've, I don't know. I've, I've weed myself. I'm choking. I'm choking. Can you come and join me, please? Because it's freezing. And my favourite candle's on. I didn't notice. <laughs> exactly. So does it give you a bad head? No, no. So the other thing gave me a bad head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, Are you chilling? He's got his little champion jumper on. he got a last year and I've actually got his other one in my wardrobe. Yeah, and it, the video is pretty much finished. Processing. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, that those photos always make me smile, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? What are you gagging at? I'm only messing. And then You're very cute. This little one. Oh, yeah, and this hand cream, guys, by the way. Oh, my God. It's so good, isn't it? Yeah. I'll take it home with me. You're not taking it home. It's so fucking like hand food. Oh, my God. It... It makes your hand so nice. Here is Helen Skelton. I don't know who that is. From Carlisle. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, I don't know, do you? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, not mess with you. I know what I'm doing. Your eyebrows need wax. I know, I have to book in with my hairdresser. Uh, no, you'll book in with a makeup at home, actually, because. Who? Who's that? You want to slap on your face? No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. I'll actually show you all of the bases later on and actually show you what the kind of colours are but I'm excited to open these I'm yeah yeah I'm really excited because I love it I do love it I love it I love it it's amazing I love it I do love it Neil Scott is actually trying to like do something on his phone with like the NHS app I am actually going to show you the actual shades of uh, these because they're really really like honestly the packaging is absolutely stunning it's literally out of this world i love it just a look at them they are so pretty so i've got four of them here tangy teas i've got extra spicy smoking hot and smoky chili and then I've got the Raver and Ibiza. Honestly, the packaging is so cool. I love it. I'm actually going to open up this one, but I'll take the colour there. It looks so cool. And the packaging again, so I've already said. Stunning. Right. And then, oh, purple. I love a bit of purple. Right. So, now, you'll start off. Yeah, the most interesting colour which is like the green one i don't really want to ruin the packaging just have to try and it'll be good it'll be good quality packaging but these are actually 450 in the sale i think they were half price so probably more than half price so if you think about it it's pretty good i've ended up just having to rip it open and it actually smells really nice inside the bag. Smell like crisps, she's an onion. No, it's meant to be the shade smoking hot. It, it just smells of like fresh new makeup. Oh my god, this brush. Oh my god, it's got the brush. Oh my god, it, this brush is absolutely perfect. It says, What a treat in my base brush is. I've been in need of some of these flat brushes. And then obviously the shade. That is so nice. Oh my god. With a shade smoking hot and a, a brand new brush. Just how satisfying does that look? And if anybody has any of these, smell the other packaging from the inside. Like, it, it smells really nice. I probably sound like a proper weirdo, but it just smells really nice. <laughs> then, I'll open the green one. I'm guessing I'll just have to rip it open. Smells really nice again. It'll be green brush, and then I'll see the green one. Oh, wow, so that one's stands Hello. out. Hi. Hey, what are you doing now? Trying to do another test. Not doing instructions. Oh. He's obsessed with doing coffee tests. No, I'm not. I've never done. I haven't done one. No, no. But I think it's a bit bored. 
But you know what I mean? Symptoms don't worry, guys. You know what I mean? Then I've got another one. I think the pink has got to be my favourite. Oh my god, it's pink! <laughs> Scott, it's yeah. pink. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so lovely. Oh, yeah, the yeah, packaging's ruined. Yeah, that's the only thing about the like, this type of packaging. You, you can't really keep it. Then, the final one. This is more of like a peachy, orangey colour. The brushes, oh my god, the brushes, can I just say, they are insane. But the pigment, well, the bases are just another level. So, six bases, four brushes. Obsessed. I'm obsessed. And I'm excited to try them out very soon on my clients. If not myself, on my clients. Because that is it. That is it. So yeah, that is that, guys. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going anymore, but so these are going to have to go in the bin now, which I am very disappointed about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. What? <laughs> You've actually set it up. <laughs> oh my god, you are so sad. He's only doing this because he just wants to try it out. Don't re don't it, film me because I hate it. It's not actually like ill with anything, you know. It's just for a laugh. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Stop it. No. Be filmed. It's not, you're not filming while it's up my nose. <laughs> like, come on then, up your nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, twist it ten times. Oh, I think that's enough. Two. Are you going three, pink? Four, five, six, seven. That's enough. Take out your nose now. <laughs> <laughs> Testing a child. I don't need the child test. I love it. <laughs> And swizzle it in here for 15 seconds. Oh dear. It's the next day now. I've finished work. I'm literally like in my work clothes. Hence why I'm in my dressing gown. I can like, keep nice and cosy. I'm now making lunch. I'm having a pasta and sauce because, like, they are just ideal for lunch time. So I'm having a chicken mushroom one and then I've also put in a little bit of sweet corn as well. Also, I put some more gradual tan on my face the last night and I feel as if it, it makes me look healthier, which is obviously like a good thing. So basically, when I don't have any gradual tan on, I basically look unhealthy. <laughs> but yeah, and I also did my skincare for a change last night, and I think that's cleared up a bit. I use the Mario Badescu stuff. Sorry, I was just stirring my pasta. I used the Mario Badescu antibacterial facial wash and it's from Beauty Bay. I've had it for quite a while now and it does really work. I also use toner and the gradual tan on my face. The plan is for today. I am hopefully going to be filming a YouTube video. I don't have any ideas. I am stuck on ideas so I don't really know what to do. So I'm gonna have to look on my video list ideas. I do want to film Christmas type videos so maybe it may film like a Christmassy video. Who knows? But yeah, if you can hear yeah, the washing machine and stuff, it is on in like it is actually on at the moment. But yeah, I'm actually starving though. From like you know, ten o'clock until now, it's like half eleven. I've been absolutely starving. My tummy's been rumbling, so I definitely need some food. Otherwise, I'll be hungry. I've been just straightened my hair, and how much better does my hair look now that I've straightened it? But anyway, I am. Um, Actually, I'm going to be going to Asda because I'm actually going to be filming a video. I'm not actually going to be filming in Asda. I'm just getting some bits for a Christmassy type video. So I think it'll be up around this vlog anyway. Oh, oh my god, my eyes are hurting from squinting. It'll be up like the other week before this weekly vlog, I think, anyway. So it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a Christmassy video, which is what we need to see right now. Let's go in the car because I think it's like a 10 minute drive to get to Asda so like, it isn't too bad. The reason why I've chose Asda is because it has you know, the best kind of Christmas range of stuff in there so yeah so I do have you know, my bought and tea set on now and I'm gonna put you know, my big kind of jacket on 
my hair is absolutely everywhere. Oh my god, why is it so sunny? But yeah, I can't actually see right now. That's fair better. I'm gonna go out of the house and get a video filmed because the Thursdays, they're you know, like my kind of YouTube filming days, which I love, obviously. I am now home from Asta. Everything I bought for the video is, is inside this bag. Honestly, this bag is so heavy, anyways. But yeah, it was super, super busy in Asta, and like it was just. It's really awkward for me to vlog basically and uh, plus there was music on in the background but anyway I am now going to film a video I'm having a break from makeup today because I want my skin to kind of have a breather because wearing makeup can be bad for your skin yeah, depending on what kind of skin type you have of course but because I have oily skin it, it just wants to break out all the time I just need to brush my hair yeah, this hairbrush from Home Bargains guys is yeah, the best thing i have ever used like it's just so good like the paddle brushes have always been good in my hair i think it's because i have a lot of hair and like it's kind of thick as well so yeah but I i'm really excited because i'm basically testing like the christmas foods and stuff so i'm really excited and i'm actually really hungry as well so this is perfect timing for me to do it really but yeah i'm just gonna be in my element and it's gonna be eating food so what more could you really want so I've got the box down. It's obviously really dusty because it's been above my wardrobe for like a year pretty much. Well, which is under a year, but you know what I mean. And it, it's already pre it, it, it decorated. I, I think the last year I did try and attempt to put some fake snow on it. So it may it look dusty, but it's not actually dusty. It'll just be like all the snow from last year. But. Hopefully, oh my god, it's all, all the bubbles have stayed on. Right, so hopefully, I can just kind of put all the branches out and there won't be any problems. I wonder if the lights still work, if there's still batteries in there. Oh my god, they still work. Wow, that's good. I think there must be some good batteries, mind. Yeah, so I'm just going to try and pull the branches out as, as, as best I can. In case you're wondering, I've got this tree, it probably be like, I don't know, like three years ago for Asda. Asda do have some good Christmas trees in case you want to get one. It's also like a fake tree because it's just easier for my room. It's a, like a, a, a little mini tree, like a, 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 a real tree, you know. Right. Well, looks like it's pretty much all out. I'll probably have to adjust some. It's not the best tree in the world i mean it is a bit old now but it's still a good little tree for christmas time anyway it, it's obviously cute and pink you know you know that's always going to be my color scheme probably for the rest of my life i'm joking i will have a different color scheme maybe next year but this year i'm just gonna keep it pink and cute and christmassy again yeah well that's the tree so far i think it's pretty cute love it and I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it now because I think it's going to look pretty cute over there. It still looks really folded up, but I swear this is it all pulled out and stuff. It looks like I've kind of made a shrine for my mum, but I haven't. But how cute is it on this little tray? Oh yeah, and then there's this one which is actually falling over. But yeah, how good is it look in my room with like all the pink stuff? This is obviously just in one part of my room but look how cute it is look how chilled it is in my room right now i've literally just closed my curtains and i i've got my fairy lights on and then yeah the christmas ones over there I've, I'm, I'm actually thinking of having like a nap because I, I feel so relaxed and so like so tired as well now because i've been up since four so i think i'm gonna have a nap because i'm actually really tired and then i'll probably wake up and do some editing after that you know all the joys of I was working away. Yeah, so as far as I would update you all, these are the best fairy lights I've had. Like, they're so nice and pretty. And yeah, I'm really, really tired. It was really cold in my room before because yeah, when my windows was open, but now that I've closed it, it's like really lovely and warm. I've got the gingerbread candle on, as always, because that's what I love burning. It's definitely. The most kind of Christmassy candle I've ever had, which I love. 
but yeah it's all time for me to sleep and i'll probably be a cup and let my eyebrows be smudged because i did fill fill them in but i've actually wrapped in both my grandma's presents and also i've put all my mum's birthday presents in this gift bag yeah because her birthday is on 23rd of december two days before christmas so it's like a kind of double expense at christmas time i've also got her in case she may be outside my room oh my god that's fell off where's it gone where's that just gone to yeah this was meant to go on it but at least fall off so quickly who else agrees i've got her a calendar for christmas that's all nicely wrapped i think the bathroom skills have got a lot better th this year and i've actually also got some brand new brushes in here which i i am going to use at some point it is a 4 99 from home bargains five brushes a sponge and a mirror how good is that but they're just being kept in there just for now just for so nobody sees them Hi day now and as you can tell i am up it kind of bright and early i woke up at eight o'clock it is now currently quarter to ten i am actually working today at the salon so i am going to be going down there for ten o'clock for my first client at half ten i need to set up beforehand and put the wax pot on and stuff so but yeah i really couldn't be bothered with makeup today well it's just like a little bit of mascara and i did try to fill in my eyebrows this morning but you know when they never go right on the morning i've said one of them days so i've just kind of got the natural brows on i mean they are in pretty good shape i did have to tweeze a few hairs out of the middle because i do have them on the brow but yeah anyway skin is kind of clearing up a little bit i've got a few spots on there i didn't I did my skincare last night please not shout at me i just i don't know why i think it's because i was really sleepy um so yeah that's why my skin's like that but yeah i'll probably try i'll do my skincare tonight i am gonna have to try and be out of the house as much as possible today because if i'm someone in to basically fit in a new water meter and like a like a new heating system or something i don't i, I really don't know but it basically means the water and heating and stuff and electric is all going to be off in the house today so a good job i'm working but i don't have like a full busy day today so i probably will be finished at like half two three o'clock so we'll have to wait and see anyway you yeah, look what i'm having some new snowballs these are it's from the best new uh, christmas chocolate mm. yeah look at all these yeah look at all these marks on my hand like look at that yeah when i work at my kind of main job that's what you want to call it i need to come back with like scratches and marks off my hands i don't even know how it's so weird but yeah i have finished work for the day at the salon I only had four people, but it's still better than nothing. I'm not going to complain. I'm still looking very brown today. All, I, all I've used is the... The Garnier Summer Body thing in the shade, like, a medium. It, it's really good stuff, mind. I really like it. It definitely makes you look a lot better, but yeah. I'm just gonna have these. I put some lunch in the oven, so I'm just gonna be having chicken and waffles and probably some veg because you need to be healthy. So this one's kind of what is this? A Christmas cookie? Oh my god, that smells amazing! I think I'm gonna take that into the salon tomorrow. I actually put up the the honey chrome the Christmas tree decorations, and they look really pretty in there. So but yeah, this is Christmas Eve, so I'm gonna bring this to the salon for tomorrow lunch is made they be thinking oh it's really dark in here well i'm going to show you why in a minute but anyway i've got some sweet chili sauce in it because sweet chili is way better than any other sauce you also agree to me here it's just so much better i'm also having the leftover rose here shall i now and oh my god it's amazing but yeah a chicken the waffles and peas but yeah it we basically got a smart the meter um installed this morning so being like 
they're tracking how much is going up and down by and there's actually no lights on the house yeah but i think the washing machine obviously uses a lot of electric but yeah so i'm gonna enjoy my lunch i think i might actually put you know, the christmas lights on to kind of add a bit of festive feel to the room because it'll look better and i'm just gonna change the lights over there we go that's much better i've had quite a few messages about selling handbags and stuff on my instagram and stuff whatever else so i still do have yeah, my gorgeous dior saddle bag for sale um i bought it for like 45 50 pounds and i literally only want 35 pounds for it yeah that is including postage i am only shipping to the uk because obviously shipping abroad is just extortionate so £35, including postage, it's hardly been worn, yeah, the strap and everything inside is in perfect condition, you know, it's a beautiful handbag, it's a really good size to put everything in, so if anybody is interested, please make sure to give me a message on my Instagram, alice.homes underscore, but yeah, yeah the detailing is, is spot on and it is exactly like yeah, the real Dior the thing you've always kind of detailing on the strap and the writing on the inside and the good thing about it is it won't take two weeks to arrive like vova or the gate it'll only take two three working days so you're on to a real winner here so yeah so definitely give me a message if you're interested also kind of just chill in i'm gonna put these fairy lights on as well so like it's more christmasy oh my god these always fall off right how much better does that look now yeah it looks very cozy so i'm gonna be chilling right there guys i am now home and it will have been home for like a little while basically because something kind of scared well a very scary happened to me actually on the way home so i think i did update you all but basically i was taking my sister to work for half four and to get to work you can either go two ways either on a 60 road or basically going through town and stuff which takes ages so i obviously went on the 60 road and stuff and like i dropped her off and stuff and when i was driving home i always had to leave the industrial estate and like it is a 30 zone and when i was getting out of the 30 zone the roundabout which is like a 40 zone i seen this car driving very 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 quick for a 30 zone so like I was obviously coming to the roundabout so I had to break and stuff and there was cars coming so like we kind of stopped for a while. And when it's free to go I basically drove and got to 40 and went to the other roundabout and after the other roundabout it gets up to, it gets up to 60 again and this car behind me it was kind of driving in two lanes at the roundabout because they had to go right on the roundabout and clearly they didn't know how to drive obviously. Anyway I was getting up to speed at 60 miles per hour and this car yeah, that was behind me was driving dangerously close behind me that if i was to sharply brake if there was anything in front of me they would have actually been in the back of me and crashed pretty much so as you do as a normal driver if you notice that the car behind you is again a bit too close for your liking you obviously double tap your brakes and it'll kind of back off a bit because like, they've realised oh maybe I'm too close to the car in front but if this person didn't seem to get you know, the kind of gist of that it's like I did it again and then you know, they seem to be getting even closer so like I was thinking oh my god why are they getting so close to the back of me like it wasn't as if you know, they were going to be able to overtake because it was so busy cause, like it was rush hour and stuff and there was lots of cars coming on the other side of the road so anyway I got to the third the roundabout and i was obviously you're going at the first exit and i, I also indicate as you do because i know that a lot of drivers don't indicate these days and basically yeah, they were indicating as well so like i was starting to panic in case either they were maybe following me it turns out yeah, they were basically following me because yeah, they put yeah, the full beam on yeah, which you're not allowed to do unless yeah, there's no cars in front of you and you're on a country road or like it's pitch black or something 
Yeah, there was loads of cars about on the other side of the road, so yeah, they weren't it meant to be put a full beam on because like it bl like it basically like it, it can dazzle you and it can put you off driving and basically blind you. It also had you know, the full beam on for like the whole time on that road, and then I got to a junction and it turned left, and guess where they were going? Yeah, they were indicating left. So basically, this is such a long story, but so much happened in this space of time from yeah, the moment yeah, they put yeah, the full beam on. I realised yeah, they were like actually following me and yeah, when you're driving on your own in the dark and you're a girl especially, I know it can happen to men and stuff but the young girls yeah, like myself always worry about yeah, this type of thing like every time you go to the car, I think it's pretty normal and yeah, when yeah, the full beam was on behind me I realised that I was getting followed so I had no choice but to basically just kind of keep driving because yeah, I think like if I kind of stopped or something, if it would have pulled up behind me. But anyway, I got to where I live, and my mum actually rang me because I think I tried to ring her on like you know, the hands-free Siri thing, and basically, like, and my mum, my mum had rang me back and was obviously thinking, why you know, have I rung her? So she answered the phone, and this car actually followed me to near where I live, and I tried to turn around because like, I was going, to, I was going to try and park, and then. If the car, it literally, it parked behind me, blocking the road from cars getting getting in and out of where I was. It was basically blocking the road and then they got out of the car and luckily I locked my doors because this crazy woman it literally started shouting like, what did she say? You could have caused an accident or something even though she was literally new touching my car and putting me on full beam. I mean, if I was really causing an accident, I wouldn't, I would have actually been driving at like 80 miles per hour or probably sharply braking. She was the one who was dangerously close to the car and I just warned her off slightly, you know. And then she told me to get out of the car and stuff and I was just like, no. And then at that point, I was on the phone to my mum. So I was just kind of speaking to my mum while she was there and then she stormed back in the car and sped off and then I think I did get a reg plate but oh my god I've never been as anxious in my life and then it, it, my parents came out and I was I bawled my eyes out I was like anxious I was shaking oh it was a lot to deal with so yeah that was my night <laughs> because I, I thought it was a man who was in the car and obviously if it was a man it, it probably would have been more scary because like I am a little person, so it would have been easy for them to probably smash the window. And when I mean, this woman basically came to the car, I thought hey, she was going to smash the window. But luckily, I locked my doors and stuff. So, like, if she did try to open any of the doors, she wouldn't have been able to. Because, oh my God, I don't know what I would have done. And, like, if she basically dragged me out of the car or something, I don't know what I would have done. I think I did react to it in the best way possible. I mean, yeah, my parents just said, they should have recorded it, yeah, but obviously, like, yeah, the car was still running and stuff, and I, like, I was just a nervous wreck. I don't know what was going to happen. Like, yeah. But yeah, she was clearly a very mad yeah, woman, and yeah, she was clearly in a rush. I don't know why yeah, she was in a rush to be somewhere, but if you're really in a rush to go somewhere, why yeah, would you follow someone home? That's very weird. And get out of the car and block yeah, the road from people getting past it's very strange behavior so i do have the really reg number or like i do have like a few possibilities so in case anything does happen again hopefully not i've got it on my phone so yeah that was my night i was absolutely petrified like i literally thought i was gonna get kidnapped or the window was gonna get smashed into that has been happening yeah, that has happened before where uh, the car window has actually been smashed, which is not good. So, yeah, and I was the most anxious I've ever been. Like, in my thighs when I was driving, I was literally on edge. It was so bad, but, yeah. So, just a tip for some drivers out there who maybe think that they're driving up people's the cars is fun it's not because if you're know, the car in front they had to sharply brake and you were too close you would literally end up in the back of the car like that a woman was dangerously close 
because like it was pitch black and stuff it obviously had our light like our full lights on and stuff uh, not full beam it just like uh, the full lights to basically see where you go in and i couldn't even see her like the lights because she was that close to the car i was thinking at first it's just like a copper or something but clearly not because like a copper wouldn't drive that far up your bum but yeah so for people asking i am fine i was just very shook up for a while and i was really confused and worried why this lady really had to follow me home which is a very strange behavior may i just add but i am fine yeah i'll ha i'll have to pick my sister up the later so like i might be anxious leaving the house then but i'm pretty sure we're... i'll be fine anyway i think i'm just gonna have my drink my tea's gonna be ready in around 20 minutes <laughs> yeah it's been a very eventful the night after i got in <laughs> yeah i've never ever been followed home so uh, that was a very scary experience and if i wasn't on my own i would have been fine but because i was just on my own i was maybe thinking oh someone is maybe seizing the opportunity to kind of follow me and stuff which is yeah anyway I i'm gonna stop talking about it because it, it happened now is there anything i can do about it it just hopefully won't come across that car again that would not be very good but yeah on that note, I'm just going to chill, relax, take some deep breaths, smell a gingerbread candle and just have a, a lovely chilled evening. <laughs> Good afternoon everybody, it is now actually Saturday. As you can tell, I am all dolled up. I am you're looking very brown on my face because so it's like a darker foundation. I actually used the Rimmel Last and Finish foundation and it's such a good foundation actually like yeah, the coverage is really good and stuff i've been working in the salon today i had a no show and a cancellation so like i only had uh, two clients in uh, this morning so quite a bad uh, day today and then i've got a couple of people booked in in the afternoon so like, i've come home for my lunch um and then i am actually gonna be going back down to the salon obviously but yes i'm actually wearing yeah, my sister's uh, jacket and uh, she's never worn it before so i found the opportunity to wear it and she actually doesn't really want it anymore so i'm thinking maybe getting it off her because it is a really nice jacket i've also curled my hair and i put too much hairspray in my hair so now it looks as if i've got like a really greasy hair you would actually don't so quick tip if you want to use hairspray don't try and spray one bit with loads of hairspray on because it doesn't work it is now sunday and you can't put that on either what do you mean okay it, it, it's now so, 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 so. easy like a sunday morning i'm now with scott and i'm at his house and easy it, like a sunday morning if we're going to have a sunday lunch with wes is that days i don't know oh. i swear i heard daisy <laughs> i don't know cool, cool. Cool. Yeah, probably, but yeah, we're going to have a Sunday lunch. Well, well Grandad said you couldn't come. I know. I don't know why. I'm, I'm in the dream. Oh, it's cute. I'm a dreamer. That's where it's from. It, it's Christmas in 13 days. Being cute. You're being cute. It will get you through. Your base has got this little jumper on. It's Zara jeans. You've got your Hilfiger thing on. And what the jeans are they? Elvis. Uh, Levi's. So yeah, we're looking pretty uh, fashionable today. Always. Always. This needs a trim. It does. It does it's look fluffy. It, it, you're looking a bit hairy. Do you want to trim it now? Yeah, okay, then let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> <laughs> to you. <laughs> What's that? Yay. What's that? One, two, three. Hey, babe. That's nice, Angel and Carlisle. City Centre. Have you flagged off of me? Uh, look at all them knives, it's quite scary. Oh, there's highs to that candle. 60 it, quid. I found something that's bigger than my head, look. I know, yeah. That's how big it is. Oh my god, it's huge. Mm. It, it looks nice. No sound of fogs, it's nice as well. It's done weight. Yeah, that is massive. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but them candles are nice. Oh, what is that one? Oh my god, they're so... It's huge, but it smells so good. That's nice. Oh, this is the pine. I want to smell the pine one. 
Yeah, no, I don't like that. He smells the sweaty armpits. He does, doesn't he? Thank you, boys. Hey, you shouldn't mind that sweaty. Yeah, we've bought this uh, microphone uh, from Occasions in Carly, all right. Uh, where's the box at? Yeah, this is what it is. It was only £10. So, we've been connecting our Bluetooth and music to it, and it actually works. It's, it's actually quite cool. Well, it's not very. It's, yeah, but when I sing, I'm going like, boom. Yeah, I know. You're like, you have to test it out. Me. You're like that. I don't have a loud. Oh, that's why it's like, stop touching me, tell me. <laughs> You've had a good little day in town, though. No? The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Okay, I don't worry about that. <laughs> it's cool, can't it change its colour, look. Down, down. It actually plays off that, it's so cool. <laughs> what? Don't want a love for Christmas. It's shocking. Yeah. I've got your Christmas card. Oh, thanks, darling. You're gonna open it. I hope you like it. It's gonna have my ugly mush on it, isn't it? You what? It's gonna have my ugly mush on it. No, it's not. You never send me a cute one. I never give you a cute one either. Oh, it's lovely. Did you take that back it, now? Man. It is oh, a cute one, isn't it? Mine's it's... not like that. Mine's funny. You show them the. <sighs> Yeah, was it was the same. Oh, look! I told you. And you said, "Oh." How did you get the pig? How did you get the writing off? Yeah, what do you mean? Because it was writing on it saying Albert Schloss. It wasn't. I zoomed in. Oh, so there wasn't. Oh, yeah. It was. Just funny how our old Oh, Christmas look! We're spending our second Christmas together. I know. This year, I love you so much. Lots of love from Alice. Are you oh, happy with it? Such a nice card. Mine's not like that. Mine's a bit funny. <laughs> it's all right. Well, yeah, the original photo is in here. So of... Last year we got the same card, didn't we? Yeah. By accident. Yeah, that's the photo. But was it gingerbread? It's not writing on that. I think I zoomed in and took a photo of it. Oh, you took a picture of it? Yeah. yeah but remember, we got a digital version as well, which was formed into a video and it had Albert Schloss on the bottom of it. Oh, no. I just took a photo of it. Would you like your little card? I love it. No. It's not what I expected. I thought you were going to pick on me and like just do no. like a Santa Claus with an ugly picture <laughs> of my face on. I did last year, didn't I? Yeah, gingerbread men. But I did that as well. Yeah. We opened them up and they were the same yeah. thing. But they're different this year. Yeah. You went cute and I went funny again. Yeah. Let's have a look. It's so cute. Oh, They'll hold up to your face. So, you are kind of chilling now. You, you can probably see this. It's spot cream on my face after my skincare and on this side of my face it's just covered in like a load of sore painful spots I've just uh, used lying. a beauty bear a, what's it called beauty bear like a spot paste so hopefully fingers crossed in the morning it will all be cleared but I'm going to be ending yeah, this week vlog here because I'm obviously going to be starting like another weekly vlog tomorrow because it's Monday tomorrow we're currently on Sunday what? Smells the cream yeah, I know. But if you guys have enjoyed this weekly vlog, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, also subscribe, and I will see you all in my next weekly vlog. Bye, everybody. See you later. See you later.